So I found this on Fafinet's channel and I was like, oh yeah, gotta do it. So yeah. All right, so here we go. Let's see if I can do this part in 10 minutes. I don't know. Skincare. How many times do you wash your face daily? You're supposed to wash your face in the morning and the evening. I don't. I wash it in the morning and then um, typically I don't at night. I use like the makeup remover wipes. Yeah, I'm, I know that's not okay. Uh, what skin type do you have? I'm an oily. No, I would say I'm combination because right now in this winter-ish weather, I'm really, really having a tough time with dryness in my skin, which I've never, ever had. So it's a first, but typically I'm an oily girl. What is your current facial wash? I've been using the Juice Beauty um, gel cleanser for like two, maybe like a year or two. Um, it's sold out at Sephora, so I'm using the Basha or Bosha or something like that at the moment. But And it's great, but uh, I do want to go back to my Juice Beauty. So I love them. Do you exfoliate? Yes, I do. I still have some of my MAC Volcanic Ash Exfoliator which I love, but other than that, I use the Lush uh, uh, Ocean Salt Exfoliator. What uh, what brand do you use? Answer that. What moisturizer do you use? I'm a little all over the place right now because of the, the sudden dryness that I have, so I've been using, um, there's a Clinique moisturizer somewhere around here that they sent me and I you know I had it like chilling in a drawer for a while and my skin was getting so dry and flaky that I had to figure something else out so I started using it it's like the moisture surge gel moisturizer I've been using that and I've also been using the makeup forever elixir on the dry spots and that helps I use it like once a week and it really helps with that do you have freckles not really no but I think black girls with freckles are so cute. Do you use eye cream? I do. I use an eye cream by Good Skin, I believe, from Kohl's. And it's like a cream on one side, a thick, dense cream on one side that you use at night, and a gel that you use during the day. So I really like that. It's, it's working. I guess. I don't know. Did you, do you or did you have acne prone skin? I did for years. Uh, and then I used Proactive. And it went away slightly. And then I kind of just grew out of it. And the next question is, did you ever have to use Proactive? So, yes. Okay, for the makeup questions. What foundation do you use? You know me, being a beauty junkie I and a beauty blogger, I really feel it's my duty to try new things and find out what the best products are and, and be to be able to recommend them for everyone so I use many many different foundations all the time you know my favorites my favorites my go-to foundations are makeup forever high definition foundation and the matte velvet foundation I switch them off and on and um but this week like uh Wednesday I know Neiman Marcus is having their beauty event and I haven't done any like real high-end makeup shopping in quite some time so I had people telling me like hey you should try this the luminous foundation from Armani I think and the YSL foundation the one with the brush that you just put on it's built in on the brush and they are expensive yes they are um, but I really want to try them anyway how about concealer I've been using Bobbi Brown's concealer the most Bobbi Brown in number 7.5 and I've been using the makeup forever high def concealer too and I think 165 is the color under my eyes it's a little lighter but it works do you know your undertone I think I have golden undertones for the most part I'm golden like in here and like reddish around here but a lot of us have different undertones and stuff what do you think of fake lashes I live for fake lashes I would I, I would like to buy them in bulk. I didn't wear any today, but I couldn't find my glue. So, yeah, that was a blower. Fake lashes from the beauty supply store. Any beauty supply store. They're everywhere. The brand almost doesn't matter. I just look for them by style. 
But I've been doing a lot of red cherry lashes, lashes a lot of Ardell lashes, so sassy lashes, um, and whatever I can find. I try to keep lashes that I buy under $3. So, yeah. Did you know that you were supposed to change your mascara every month, three months? Yes. I did know that. Most times, though, I run out before the three months is over. So, that typically doesn't make a difference for me. What brand of mascara do you use? I tend to always go back to Mac Zoom Lash. It's just like instant thickness, instant black, black um, lashes. Although my friend Megan Shea um, is a makeup artist here in Baltimore and she uses like two mascaras every time she does her makeup. And she swears by like YSL and another one, I can't remember. But her lashes always look so good all the time she takes like time that's her thing her lashes so there's some a few different ones I'd like to try but um that's what I seem to always go back to and L'Oreal Voluminous I always buy that when it's on sale I always buy them Sephora or MAC as much as I love MAC in totality I have to say Sephora because Sephora has so many brands there's so much to choose from if you don't find a brush a blush that you like at makeup forever you can walk on over to stila and get one or you can walk over to cargo well, i don't think they have cargo anymore i don't know or um you can go over to you know whatever brand you want so i think that that's great there's all different price price points you can get your perfumes they have the free samples you know once you hit like 100 points or whatever um i just really like sephora for its versatility and its options and all that good stuff um do you have a mac pro card i do i've been a member for like for five years or something like that what makeup tools do you use in makeup application i am a brush freak so it really depends on the look i have maybe um six or seven brushes that are just for for the crease area and certain times i know to use the thinner one for XYZ and use the thicker one and the fluffier one for this one. So it really depends on what I'm trying to do. But there, there are lots and lots of brushes. I can't even go into all that because that'll take forever. Do you use makeup base or primer for the eyes? Heck yeah. Actually, um, I have to give a shout out to my girls at WPGC yesterday. Um, that's a radio station in DC. And um, I love the fact that Miss Lori knew exactly where I started. Also, my boss at Oye and Jamila, they both did the same impression of me. They were like, hi, it's Erin from Scandalous Beauty. I'm going to start my look with Painterly Paint Pot. And I was like, dang, y'all know me really well. So that is the base that I can't live without. I always, 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 always use Painterly Paint Pot. I'll never move on. And also, I've had a few of you telling me that artists won't sell you painterly because you're brown or whatever. Let me tell y'all something. Don't ever let an artist tell you what you can or cannot buy. They can make their suggestions, but don't let them say that you can't do it. I'm proof, okay? I'm proof. You guys watch me do makeup all the time. You guys have seen me use painterly a million times. It never, ever, ever alters my shadow color. You never know I have it on under my colors. So you know that it'll work for you. It can work for you if you just use it the same way that I do. Just use a little bit, pop it on, keep it moving, and it will work. But it's my all-time favorite. So, yes. Uh, for the face. I don't use a primer for the face. No. What is your favorite eyeshadow, color, or shade? I'm not even going to answer that. I mean, there's so many to choose from. But, um... To be honest, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm not really a big eyeshadow person. I would much rather bang out the lip and do mascara and eyeliner on the eyes. So, I don't know that I have a favorite. Do you use pencil or liquid liner? I tend to use liquid or gel liner 95% of the time. The only time I really use pencil liner is when I'm doing the waterline. How often do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? I haven't done that in a long time, but it's because there's been a lot of practice. A lot of practice has taken place. It has happened, but it's it's been a while. What do you think of pigment eyeshadows? I love loose shadows, loose color to use anywhere on the face. Um, I've got quite a good collection of them and 
they're great multi-purpose products so I'm a fan do you use mineral makeup I do not I've never had an interest in it it just never looked like anything I really wanted to try and I don't know why even though I'm a big makeup junkie and even though I should try you know things like that it's just never spark my interest what is your favorite lipstick another question that I almost refuse to answer because I could do a video on my 25 favorite MAC lipsticks alone, let alone including all the other brands out there. When you watch my videos, you're pretty much see the stuff I keep using over and over again, and I guess that will narrow it down. Well, how about lip gloss? You already know my explanation. I won't do that. <laughs> what is your favorite blush to use? Many of you can go ahead and say it before I even need to say it because you've been watching my videos for a while but my favorite blush is NARS Taj Mahal yeah can't live without it um it's a like a you know a orange with a, a sheen to it it's gorgeous 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 uh yeah do you buy makeup on eBay no I don't um only because I just don't really trust people like that. So, uh-uh. Do you like drugstore makeup? My appreciation for drugstore makeup has really grown over the past year, year and a half. When I first started with makeup, I started with Bombell and Jane Cosmetics. I thought they were the greatest. That was when I was like 13 or whatever. And then people keep telling me, like, they were like, well, you got to try... Uh, this from Revlon, uh, not Revlon, this from L'Oreal Hips. So I started using L'Oreal Hips eyeshadow duos and collecting them and loving them. And then the Black Opal Stick Foundations, I mean, I still think that they're some of the greatest foundations. Yesterday I did a, a, a makeover session at the radio station and I used only Black Opal Stick Foundations and they were beautiful. They look so beautiful and nobody knew them any differently you know on the face you don't know that it's not you know a $60 foundation you have no idea beautiful coverage gorgeous stuff and there's a lot of stuff in between um you know that affordable makeup video I did the one that was like a half hour long that one covers pretty much everything that I love do you go to cosmetic company outlets in fact that was my first job in makeup I worked at the cosmetic company outlet in Arundel Mills Mall so it's inside Saks Fifth Avenue. As soon as you go in Saks and you turn that hard left, it's all makeup. And a cosmetic company outlet is an Estee Lauder store that sells limited edition, discontinued, and overstock products by Estee Lauder brands. So they do have MAC. They do. You can get really lucky in there. You can find some really freaking great stuff that you've been looking for. So they have um, Bobby Brown. Not really too much Stila. They have Origins. They got Estee Lauder. They're going to probably have a ton of prescriptives since pre prescriptives went out of business. And uh, they've got, yeah, that's pretty much it. Clinique. They got a lot of Clinique. I bought like a ton of skincare from them for a while. But yeah, that was like my first job in makeup. And a great thing about it is you don't have to have like makeup experience. They would like you to have it. But if you have retail experience, it's great because you don't have to be a makeup artist to work there. You're just selling makeup. You're not applying it to people. So if you want to find cosmetic company outlets, I have a link. There's a website called Outlet Bound, and you can search and you'll find them in your area, hopefully. It's a great place, though. It's 30% off all the, the Estee Lauder products, and then like 20% off the fragrances from Estee Lauder. It's hit or miss. You can find a lot of stuff, though. Nothing is guaranteed, but you can find some good stuff. Uh, did you ever consider taking makeup classes? I've taken many a makeup class by many an artist. Trust and believe. That is one thing I am very, very big on doing. Are you clumsy and putting on makeup? Not so much anymore, but um, I used to be. Yeah. Name a makeup crime that you hate. I hate brown women with white eyeliner. Mm. Yeah, that blows my life. That's, that's, or anybody in like black lip liner. Mm-mm. No, I don't like that either. Do you like colorful shades of makeup or neutral ones? You know me. I'm all about color. I'm all about, you know, expand. Clearly, I'm all about color. But I love to see people, you know, step outside that box and realize that we can wear anything and everything at any point in time. So, 
I'm all for that. Which celebrity always has great makeup? Ooh, good one. Good one. Uh, I would have to say... Now I'm going to have to say Rihanna, probably. I like the fact that she's young and hip to the point where she likes to wear and experiment with a lot of different colors. So you might see her with a lavender shadow on or an olive shadow or a purple lipstick, a bold lip, or a nude face. I mean, she's all over the place. So I think that's great. I'm not the biggest Rihanna fan in the world. I don't own any of her CDs or anything like that. But I do love her style and I do love what she does with her makeup. So that's always great. If you could leave the house using just one makeup item, what would it be? What would you use? Probably mascara. Just to open up the eye. Yeah. Could you ever leave the house without any makeup on? You will probably, if you guys ever probably meet me on the street, you'll probably see me without makeup on. I don't wear makeup every day. I don't uh, have the urge to wear makeup every day. I love makeup more than I can ever explain, but it's not something that... I'm like scared to leave the house without or I feel like it's a necessary thing. Do you think you look good even without any makeup on? I guess. I don't, I don't know. There are some days I'm looking pretty freaking rough, I will say. But um, if I didn't think I looked alright, I guess I would wear makeup every day. I don't know. I'm not like hot without makeup on. But you know. In your opinion, what is the best makeup line? Overall, I would have to say from the Ruta to the Tudor, probably Makeup Forever. They just have everything, everything you could ever want or need. They set the bar. They had came out with HD makeup and they've got everything from clown makeup to, you know, Cirque du Soleil. I mean, anything that you would need, you know, waterproof. So much of their stuff is waterproof. That, that's hard to find. Their stuff is expensive. Yes, it is freaking expensive, but it's pretty freaking awesome. And they've got stuff down to Sephora for everyday women that just want to go to the office or just want to sit home and, you know, be a stay-at-home mom or everything in between. So I love makeup forever. I think they are number one. And what do you think of makeup? Oh, makeup. Makeup is the greatest. It makes me a happy girl. It's so much fun. It's it's my it's my world. Well, one of the things in my world. But I love makeup. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So um okay. So that that is the uh, forty question makeup tag. Feel free to do a video response or what have you. And um thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.